Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 217. As always, I am Shane Thomas. Follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, check out the Code Karate Patreon page where you can show a little support for just a few dollars a month. Today we're going to be looking at the D8 Editor File Upload Module. So I'm on the drupal.org page and you can see this module allows you to add a button to upload files while you're using the CK editor. This is really handy if you need to link to a file in your content, but you don't want to have to manually use some kind of FTP or IMCE or another image or upload file upload service to upload a file and then you have to go in and manually create a link to that file. So you have to do a bunch of steps. If someone just wants to upload a PDF and put a link to it, this allows you to do that in one easy step. So we're going to go to our test website here, and we're going to want to look for the D8 Editor File Upload Module. You can see I already have it enabled. Make sure to get that turned on. The next thing is you need to go to your text formats, and we actually have to make sure we enable this button in our uh, text editor. So I'm just going to use the basic HTML and I will go ahead and click configure. You can see it's using CK editor and you can see there are a bunch of available buttons. I'm going to look for the one that looks like a paperclip or file attachment and I'll drag it down into media and as soon as I do that this file upload section appears. This allows you to enable file uploads, to choose where you want those files stored, to choose a directory, so all these files will go into that directory so they're easy to find, and then allowed extensions. So I'm going to allow CSV, PDF, text, you could do you know doc if you wanted Word docs or docx, maximum file size. Uh, you can, if you don't do anything here, it'll use whatever PHP is set at, or you can set your own. So if I wanted to set it at 20 megabytes, I could do that. I'll go ahead and just leave it blank, but you have some flexibility there. And we're going to go ahead and make sure we just double check all this is just normal. We're going to save it. And now when we come back to a piece of content, let's just take one of these test articles. Actually, I'll just go ahead and create a new one. Why not? Let's just create a brand new article here. So I'm just going to type a quick message. And I'm going to try this out. So you can see there's the button that we added. Simply click this button choose my file. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a CSV file here. Click Save. And now you can see it goes ahead and it adds that file in. So if I save this, and you can see if you look down in this section down here, it actually has the full file path. So you can see it puts in the site's default files, inline files, because that's that file directory, and then whatever the actual file name is that you uploaded. So this is a very easy way. It's very simple to set up, and it's an easy way to allow your content editors on your website to upload their own files and then reference them in that content. So that's it this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. Try out this module. It's very easy, and you'll be able to allow your editors on your websites to upload their own files and reference them in their content in no time. We'll see you next time.